special series looking at New Hampshire's quirky weather continues this morning with a look at the North Country, specifically why truly the coldest part of the state actually tends to get less snow. Thunderstorms can rise several miles into the air while snow falls from the lowest mile of the atmosphere. With that in mind, consider the White Mountains that have many peaks over four to 5,000 feet. So when a storm passes southeast of Cape Cod, by the time that moisture gets into northern New Hampshire, the White Mountains essentially block most of the snow from getting over to the other side. This is commonly referred to as the shadow effect. So towns in the shadow of the higher peaks get lower amounts of moisture. There is a general shadow north of the White Mountains. A secondary shadow results in a lot less snow, both north of the White Mountains and west of the Pliny Range, which connects Mount Cabot and Mount Wombeck. This means communities like Lancaster, Stratford, and Colebrook will only get a few inches of snow while the rest of the state gets dumped on. <laughs> yeah, that shadow is house, maddening yeah. for us here to forecast. You look at our accumulation maps in the not so distant future, and you will see just as you get north of the White Mountains, those numbers really trail off. And tomorrow we'll look at the last place in the state that has a tendency to warm up, and this would be like on a day like tomorrow, and why it takes so long for that to happen. Hmm. Okay, what place is it? Yeah, there's a Stay lot tuned. of little local spots that you get here in the state with some very quirky weather.